Um, I look crazy right now because I have no makeup on whatsoever and this hair is like really dramatic. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera and then we're going to get started. Yeah. Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. I'm not in the mood. Trying to make Hey, got, got cheese. Don't say meow. I'm a cow. I'm a cow. Oh, oh my. This is my song. Oh my gosh. Drop the remote. And are we in frame, girl? And I'm gonna be priming my eyes with a concealer first. We're gonna set it with some airspun translucent powder. The typical process, you know what I'm saying? Use this um can y'all see? It's just a um, orangey peachy shade. I'm gonna use that in my crease, okay? I really have no clue where I'm taking this. <laughs> I'm just kind of winging it right now and having some fun, you know? Bad. So this is a Morphe Y16 brush. It's a lot more fluffy and yeah, what we needed. H Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette. This yellow and this orange right here. Okay, I'm gonna mix them. And I'm gonna put that right over the same area I put that peachy color. So right here, I'm going back into my 35C palette by Morphe. I'm just getting the light pink out of there, and I'm going to bring it into my transition area and yeah, just blend it all out. Then I went into my BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette, and I got that hot, hot pink color. And I'm just going to go into my crease a little bit more just to add a little bit more depth. You know, we're just getting pinker and pinker every, every time we add a shade, and we're getting a little darker. As well. I thank God for clarity. Uh, focus. Keep me focused. All right, so now I'm going back into my Morphe 35C palette and I'm just getting a more raspberry dark pink color. It doesn't show up the same on camera. Really, none of this is showing up the same on camera. It almost looks like I'm using the same eyeshadows over and over, but I promise y'all I am getting pinker and darker. So that's just the focus. And then I'm gonna go use my Estee Lauder Maximum Coverage Foundation and I'm gonna cut my crease. And I'm using actually a paintbrush. Don't sleep on paintbrushes, all right? Paintbrushes are the shit. Like for real, when you want some precision and you want some cleanness, go to the store and get you some paint brushes for your eyeshadows. You will be so happy. I told you this, and I'll be letting you down. Focus, keep me focused. All these little things, man, that keep me focused. Focus, keep me focused. All these little things, man, that keep me focused.
by yourself clutch back all right so all i did ever since i've cut my crease is just add a gold eyeshadow you can use any gold eyeshadow and then i'm using a nyx gold glitter and a nyx pink glitter they're the only two golds and pinks that i really know of so it can't be too hard to find and then i'm actually just using a black out of that same morphe 35 c palette that we have been using i'm just adding some depth you know what i'm saying and trying to make this look a little bit more dramatic. It is looking blotchy on camera and it's starting to look a little messy, but y'all just wait. Y'all just wait. You just have to keep building it up like I'm doing and adding more and more color and filling in those blotchy spaces and blending it all out. Right here, I actually dip back into one of those pinks I've been using just to really get a good um, gradient look. And then I'm going to be using this NYX White Liquid Liner Honey. For this to be a drugstore, I don't know why Nick's even, you know, causing such a drugstore because the quality of this eyeliner is like crazy. It's so pigmented. I'm barely even using any product. I've only dipped it in there once and I'm already like halfway done. And I'm not having to layer over and over. It's just really good. And I think it was only like $7 if that. Um, so if you get anything out of this, go get this eyeliner because um it's really good and it's underpriced in my opinion uh nyx sponsor me All right, so we're almost done with the eyes here. I'm just adding a little bit of mascara and some lashes. And then after that, I'm going to do my face makeup mostly off camera because that's a whole different video, baby. Boom. There we go. We already got a face on. We added some highlight. Oh, my God. So I don't know why I've been sleeping on Artist Couture, but I recently was... Um, in Sephora and I found out about this highlighter and oh my god my life has changed ever since my life will never be the same I don't want it to be the same it's lit and I keep adding more clearly clearly I don't know how to stop I'm about to look like a walking disco ball in a minute so don't mind me I'm just adding more <laughs> more highlight like sis put it down <laughs> Honestly, a lot of this is self-explanatory, but I will still tell y'all, all I'm doing is just adding um, one of those pink eyeshadows, probably mixing a couple of them at this point. Um, I just added it to my lower lash line, and I'm adding me some uh, black eyeliner and some mascara to my little lashes so I can look more dramatic, because who would I be if I didn't? Um, yeah, and honestly, that's it for real, I think with these eyes i don't know why okay there we go boom added a lip added some gloss and then we done baby This is the final look, y'all. Um, this is a very dramatic moment, but <laughs> make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for my next video.